In this first lesson, I'd like to discuss the subject of waveform display. And in our case here, we don't actually have any waveforms displayed for our audio material. The audio parts of the clips are simply shown as a rectangle. I can, however, change this by going to the audio column of the relevant track and clicking on this small triangle with the left mouse button. Then the audio section is expanded and I can see the waveform of my clips. With this waveform display, the audio signal is visualized, and so I can see which region actually has audio in it. I can also see the difference in loudness for various sections of the clip. The higher the peaks of the waveform are, the louder the audio material will be at that point. I'll demonstrate this by playing a few of the clips. Yes, and so we can see that at certain points where it gets louder, the waveform is larger. However, especially for users who have a bit of experience with audio editing software, you might consider that the waveform for these clips is rather strong, which would point towards them all being loud audio signals. They appear to be within the same range. So the difference between loud and quiet clips, at least in this display, doesn't seem to be that large. And why this is, I'll show you now. This is simply to do with how EDIUS is displaying the waveforms. And EDIUS offers us two possibilities for displaying the waveforms. For the minute, we're in the logarithmic display mode. And with this, relatively quiet signals are shown quite strongly in the waveform. If I go to settings under user settings, and then to the application timeline section, then in the section waveform, I can choose for it to be displayed differently. As mentioned before, this function purely affects the display, not the actual audio file. And here I can change it to linear. I'll select it. And we can see that the waveform display is somewhat different. I'll zoom into this region here. And there I can see various sections which will demonstrate this rather well. Here, we can see that for this clip, in the linear display, there's hardly any apparent volume. However, there is audio here, which I can test simply by playing it. The audio is simply quite quiet. Here, it is quite clear that there is a louder passage. And I'll play this. And there, I can see that these peaks are wind noise, and these sounds are relatively loud. So with this example, you might question why there are actually two possibilities to display the waveform. And the reason for this is that each has its advantages and disadvantages. In the linear mode, I can quite easily see the dynamic difference. So I can see where loud sections are, and I can see where quiet passages are. However, in this display mode, it might be easy to imagine that there is actually no audio in this section, for example. If I was to go back to the logarithmic display method, then even in quiet passages, it is quite clear that there is audio in the clip. Especially in clips where there are many quiet passages and sections without any audio, it might be more useful to be in the logarithmic mode. So just a small tip there. But as mentioned, it's really only a display mode. The audio is not changed. So depending on what your audio sections contain, you can choose the best display option 